you will not be able to make your next court appearance. Do not waste your time posting a fine amount on these warrants because the matters will only get worse if you post a security bond today and then you do not report on your next court date on August the 9th. Because if you did that, there will then be a felony warrant for failure to appear as well as you will be forfeiting the security bond amounts that you will be requiring. So what am I supposed to do? I'm sorry, what is your question, ma'am? Your phone sort of cut off there a little. What am I, what am I supposed to pay? Okay, yes, ma'am. Are you, okay, I will give you that information. I just need to know your course of action now because if you're going to wait to surrender yourself, I need to have you coded as a surrenderer. Well, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go down to my police station and talk to them. Yes, ma'am. Just let you know, ma'am, once you, you can decide to do that, but let's let you know, once you do arrive at any law enforcement establishment before you receive, obviously, what you call it, work control release number, you be advised, you will be taken into custody, okay, because these warrants have already been signed up. Okay, well, I'm going to go, I got, the local police station is just down the street, so I'm going to go talk to them. Yes, ma'am. No, that's fine, ma'am. You can do that. But I'm just letting you know. Okay. Be sure to keep the yourself together. Okay, because they will be taking you. Okay, I will go over there right now. Thank you. Yep, yep, ma'am. My pleasure. The caller knew their names and their information. Uh, and that also goes with the scam because uh, when the they know who they're talking to. It's not like it's a cold call where they're fishing for information. Uh, in a lot of cases, they know the person's name and their information, and that helps to um, make the scam a little bit more convincing. Mm -hmm. well, they can actually call the sheriff's office. That would be the first thing. And first of all, know that if they do miss jury duty or anything related to jury duty, summonses or whatever, there will not be a phone call made to anyone in reference to that. It would be through the U.S. mail, and if a person is wanted, they can, or if they believe that they're wanted as a result of that, they can call and they can, they can ask the question. We will tell them whether they're wanted uh, in reference to uh, jury duty. They can uh, always make a phone call to us. But most of the time, uh, it would be a scam because we're not going to make any phone calls in reference to that. And we're probably not going to ask for money anyway. Absolutely not. It would never ask for money. Uh, the only thing that would happen if you were to miss jury duty, it would be a show cause issued, and that's when you would have to come back to court and explain to the judge of that court why you missed the jury duty. Uh, and then at that point would be when, if any fines were levied, that would be the point that it was done. But we would not ask anyone to pay any money up front for that. And definitely nothing over the phone. Absolutely. You will never get a phone call. Never. from any government agency asking for your money. Absolutely not.